John is in Washington, Kansas. Hi, John. Welcome to Catholic Answers Live. Thank you. How are you? Doing well, John. And yourself? I'm fantastic. Um, I'm a recent convert to the Catholic Church. Pentecost Sunday was my entire family was brought into the brought into the church. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my question for you, Mr. Aiken, is this. Uh, I come from the Baptist background. There's some very adamant, stern belief within the Baptist Church. Mm-hmm. Um, and in every I've church. i had a lot of arguments uh, regarding the age of the earth and the age of humanity. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm a firm believer that the earth is in the billions, mm-hmm. um, just from fossil record and, and staring into the cosmos. Uh-huh, sure. Um, but my stance on the evolution of man is pretty anti. I don't believe in the fact that man evolved. I believe we may continually change, but not evolve from Once, another species. Right. You, you're opposed to the idea of, hu- of speciation with regard to mankind. Cor- correct, mm-hmm. correct. Um, what's your thought on the age of man as a created being? Okay, um, well, the uh, obviously, so man is a created being, and that means there was some finite point in the past beyond which humans did not exist, so there were the first human beings. And when that occurred, uh, when human beings first came into the world, when they were first created, is something that, uh, is, that the Church would hold as a matter of science, rather than a matter of faith. Um, the Church has, has looked at the various texts, uh, such as the genealogies in Jesus, uh, in Genesis, but it hasn't decided that, uh, that those are to be used for purposes of calculating dates um, the way that, for example, the um, Anglican Archbishop James Usher did when he calculated that the Earth was, you know, only 4,000 years old, and that, uh, m- that that's when Adam and Eve lived, and, and so forth. Um, the Church has instead recognized the, the value of uh, the various scientific studies that bear on the origin of the cosmos and the appearance of man, that's something the Catechism of the Catholic Church notes. Um, it doesn't make those scientific theories, and uh, those scientific studies and their results matters of faith, um, so if you view the evidence differently than what the uh, <clears throat> contemporary science would suggest, you're not being a bad Catholic as a result. Um, However, uh, the Church tends to acknowledge the value of those studies without signing off on them and saying they're definitely correct, because science is always provisional. And there's a, a saying that if, uh, if you marry the science of one age, you're going to be a widow in the next, because science is constantly changing. And <clears throat> even though we think we have a better understanding of these matters today than we did, say, two or three hundred years ago, you know, we'll have to see what science indicates two or three hundred years from now. As far as what I personally would think about how long ago the first humans appeared, I would think that it's longer than 10,000 years ago, but probably less than 100,000 years ago. If you look at um, what archaeology has suggested regarding the uh, development of early humans, um, there's an event, sometimes called the Great Leap Forward, that seems to occur thirty to 50,000 years ago, where you have humans starting to display what's called behavioral modernity. Behavioral mo- modernity means things like they made tools, they, uh, they uh, made art, um, we have evidence that they believed in an afterlife, so that suggests uh, they were practicing religion, um, and they began to do a lot of things that we don't have evidence for prior hominids doing. All of a sudden, there's this great leap forward where you have, uh, you have humans doing these things about uh, 30 to 50,000 years ago. And so that would be my guess, since there's kind of a notable development. Um, it, it would make sense to me to say, okay, that's when the first true humans in our sense existed, and that's why we see the sudden appearance of behavioral modernity. Uh, there, there may have been, um, you know, relatives 
of our species that weren't quite modern humans, uh, that uh, you know were part of God's plan, but you know when He endowed the first humans with actual souls, uh, that's when you had the kind of cognitive leap forward that produced behavioral modernity in in uh, and thus the human race in our sense of it. So that would be my personal guess. It's only a guess. I can see other. Uh, possibilities, but that's the one that uh, that seems in- most intriguing to me at the moment, based on the evidence I've encountered. What do you think, John? Really, uh, thank you. I, what I would like to also add, if I could, just for a moment, mm-hmm. is the one thing, the statement that I have valued the most listening to you and Tim Staples and and, and Mr. Shree and, and everybody else at Catholic Answers and your guests is the phrase, welcome home. Um, yeah. That is a beautiful statement, and I, I just I love hearing it, guys, because when I, when I came into the fold of the church with my family, I, we came home, and that's the feeling we got. So yeah. uh, thank you for your answer, and I appreciate your time. Someone said it to me when I became Catholic, and it, it meant a lot to me as well, so welcome home to you and your family. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, guys.